Welcome back to your live continuing coverage of ISTE 2015 on Be Terrific, presented by the Padcaster, thepadcaster.com. We are streaming live coverage to you on the Padcaster using the Teradek Live to Air app. The Padcaster is a frame that goes around your iPad, allows you to use lenses and mount microphones, lights, and all sorts of professional rigging so you can shoot, edit, stream, and share, of course. You've got to check out the Padcaster, thepadcaster.com. You're the Terrifics. I'm Michael Artsis. Thanks so much for joining us. This is the Technology Education Conference. It's really important to the future of our schools, of our students, and it's a lot of fun. We love spreading positive content, good stories, and that's what we're doing here at Be Terrific. I've got Sawyer joining us from Ro Modular Robotics. Sawyer, thanks so much for joining us. Um, robots. Who doesn't love robots? These are robots, some of the products you make, and they really help kids learn. They understand this. It works with fine motor skills, with gross motor skills. Tell me about modular robotics and what we've got here, and let's play. Okay, so uh, these are cubelets. Uh, it's, a, it's one of our two modular robotic construction kits that we make. Um, it allows kids, both products, Moss and Cubelets, uh, allow kids to design and build their own robots without having to learn any programming or wiring or anything like that. Um, so there's three different types of Cubelets. You have your black sense Cubelets, uh, like this distance sensor, that sort of take in information from the outside world and kind of tell the other Cubelets what to do. And you have your clear action Cubelets, like this drive Cubelet, that actually do things based on what the distance Cubelets are saying. Then you have your think cubelets, uh, these colored think cubelets that take this basic interaction of sense and act uh, and modify it in a variety of different ways. Um, so this is just a battery cubelet here. So if I take my battery cubelet and attach my drive cubelet and my distance cubelet, now I have a robot that will drive towards my hand and the closer my hand gets to it, the faster it'll go. And I can change, I can move this, uh, drive people around, and now I have the opposite robot that drives away from my hand, and it goes faster. You know what I like about this? It's very easy to use. It's very easy to get started. It's very engaging. It kind of gets you into the idea of programming. It gets you thinking differently, and it gets the kids learning where then later on they can figure out uh, how to wire and how to, how to program through computing. Exactly. I mean, it's all about computational thinking. You know, it's, it's uh, physical programming is the term we use a lot, where people think of programming as sitting down at a computer and you have to type up. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> exactly. I mean, this, this is a form of programming. You take these two blocks, you stick them together, and now you have a program where the distance sensor is talking to the drive cubelet, um, and that's, that, that's your program. So now I have this lifelike behavior almost where I put my hand near it and it runs away from my hand but it's just very simple pieces working together in that way. Very cool. And then we've got something else here. Is that correct? Yeah, so this is our other product. Oh, wait. So what's the red one do, by the way? Oh, okay. Yeah, so I can, um, we have all different kinds of cubits. There's 17 different types, types of cubits in all. Um, 17? 17. So that's a lot of programming you can do. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. All different kinds of combinations. I mean, did, Are you the founder of the company? No, I'm the director of production, actually. How did, how did you guys come up with this? How did you start the company? You know, so Cubits actually started uh, as a PhD thesis at Carnegie Mellon uh, in architecture, of all things. Um, it was started as a way to sort of visualize spaces and things, uh, and interactions between different modules, but it became a, a toy from that. So just decided it was, it was a good way, you know, for kids to learn about computational thinking and um, complex behavior in, in um, these kind of systems, so... Very cool. And then, what, so what's the red one do? So, so yeah, I mean... Oh, you've um, got the green ones and yeah, all right. sorts of other ones. So all right. Let me really show you. The one sensor here can control multiple actions there. Um, you can so, sort of see my car now has a little flashlight oh, in there. Lighting. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Um, so what the, the red, the red cubelet is the inverse cubelet. So it's one of our think cubelets that modifies the behavior of the sense and acts. So where normally... You can get this flashlight here. So normally... Um, you know what? Grab a Let, I like that. You know what? Let's change it up on the fly. Okay. Yeah, exactly. It's really easy to put together and take apart. It's all about that, that dynamic of, of building and taking apart. So right now I have a flashlight here, um, but it's kind of a dumb flashlight where when it's bright, the flashlight goes, and when I darken the brightness sensor, the flashlight dims. But what I really want is for when it's bright out, the flashlight is off, and when the brightness sensor goes dark, the flashlight turns on. So I'll put my inverse cubelet in between 
to sort of reverse that behavior. So when it's brighter in this room, and then when, when it's darker, it goes on, and when it's bright, it sort of dims. Yeah. That's very cool, and, and I get it. That's the inverse thing. Yep. Um, so what is this? Is this, I mean, I, I feel like I have a two-year-old son. I feel like this would be good for him even. Uh, yeah. Is there an age limit on this? So we go four and up uh, with Cubelets. So we've seen preschoolers and kindergartners really loving Cubelets and really building super original things all the way up through high school. I mean, it depends on what you're, what you're teaching. And very cool. And how much are they? Uh, so the six Cubelet starter kit, uh, which has two sensors, the distance and the brightness, uh, two actions, the flashlight and the drive, and then a battery and a passive. Uh, that goes for $160. Um, then the larger 20 cubelet kit, uh, which has all the cubelets and multiples of some of them, goes for 500 Very nice. I think this is very cool. I like that it started as a thesis, and you guys are a real company now. We're a real company, yep. We do all of our production in Boulder, Colorado, and everything else there. So. Made in the USA, can't beat that. Uh, did you guys have to raise money at all, or were you able to do this on the, the shoe and the string? Yeah, so we we've, we uh, we have grants from the National Science Foundation um, for small businesses. I love that. Small businesses doing cool stuff. Uh, we also have some venture capital funding as well. Excellent. And what I love is that the grants are going to... Uh, providing jobs and building a future for other students and people who maybe one day will create another company that create more jobs. So what's this? So uh, this is our other product. It's a newer product. We've been shipping it for about a year and a half now. Uh, it's called Moss. Uh, Moss is a bit higher age group. Uh, normally we say eight and up. Uh, for educational purposes, it's more 10 and up. Um, so the reason for that is Moss um, is, needs a little bit more planning when you're, when you're going to build it. Um, whereas with cubelets, you can just sort of stick them together and they just kind of work. Um, with moss, uh, not all the faces do do all like power and data. So the first cool thing about moss is the connection system. It's not just a face-to-face -face connection system like with cubelets. Um, we have these steel spheres which are non-magnetic, um, and then the magnets are in the corner. So if I have one sphere there, I have a sort of universal ball joint. Two spheres, I have a hinge, and with three or four spheres, I have a face-to-face -face connection. So just from that, you can get a lot of cool or sort of organic uh, motions, more so than, than you can with cubelets. This is very cool stuff, man. So um, the other cool thing about Moss um, is that power and data are passed separately. So with cubelets, they're the same face. They both power each other and talk to each other. With Moss, those are separate. So this is my battery module. You can see all the faces on here are green, except for the switching switch face and the charge face. So this uh, green passes power through the module. So... What I want to do is I want to make sure that all of my modules are powered. And I just fill out these faces a little bit here. So the green faces are all power. So I'm going to put green to green. And now my proximity sensor, which is this module here, uh, is now powered because the green face attaches to the green face there. Now I have my motor here. I'll grab a couple more spheres have my motor here, and I want to make sure that that is also powered. So green face to green face here, now that's powered as well. You'll also notice what I've done here is that I have the orange face attached to the brown face there. Now the orange face is the data output of the proximity sensor, and the brown face is the data input of the motor. So I have them talking to each other, and they're both powered. So if I attach the wheel down here and turn it on, now I have a robot that will drive around in a circle until I put my hand over it and it slows down and reverses. Very cool. I like this. I like this a lot. Um, I think it's really great and I think it's good for school districts to have and classes, but I think it's also good to have at home. Um, and of course it's fun for adults to tinker with and see what they can do. And it makes you feel smarter. I feel smarter just from this conversation, awesome. believe it or not. That's great. You guys are pretty smart though. I mean, I can't even believe you put all that together. It's very impressive. Built in the USA. Yep, built in the USA. Where do people find out about it? So uh, www.modrobotics.com. You can purchase and find out all kinds of things. Uh, for teachers, we have free curricula available online for all age levels and for both products. Um, yeah. Very nice. That's Sawyer. I love it. you got to go to modrobotics.com. Modrobotics.com. We'll be back with a whole lot more of your live continuing coverage here from ISTE 2015 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, from the Philadelphia Convention Center. On Be Terrific, this is your live continuing coverage of ISTE presented by The Padcaster, thepadcaster.com. You're The Terrifics. I'm Michael Arches. We'll be back right after this.